The names of the bodyguards are mostly taken from other people from the Three Kingdoms era of Chinese history, and most of them would go on to become non-playable characters from Dynasty Warriors 4 onwards. There are even bodyguards like Juga Dan and Guo Huai too, who have since become playable characters. Imagine that, characters that are now playable once starting out as your bodyguards on DW3. The female guards are interesting too. We have names like Yue Ying, which I'm sure you'll recognise, but also the likes of Himiko, who would first become playable in Warriors Orochi. There were lines of dialogue recorded for the non-playable characters which you would never normally get to hear. The only reason we can now hear them is thanks to a cheap table made by a YouTuber called Charaz Nabel. Check these out. An officer! I killed an officer! I killed an officer! I have vanquished an enemy officer! I have vanquished an enemy officer! I have defeated an enemy general. I have killed an officer. I have vanquished an enemy officer. There are two color schemes for each type of NPC for each force. So for example, a light blue and a dark blue. This was probably done to give the NPCs on the battlefield a little more variety. Otherwise, there'd just be hundreds of very similar looking NPCs running around. I also like to think that some of the officers' colours were chosen to represent the fact that they fought for more than one force. For example, Pang Dei has the dark blue colour scheme, which is more like turquoise, a mixture of the blue of Wei and the green of the allied forces at Tong Gate. Shi Huan is an NPC that appeared at Guangdu under Cao Cao's forces. He is the only NPC officer on the original Dynasty Warriors 3 to have the private model, the lowest ranking troop, unless you count the peasants that appear on the Mountain Bandit campaign. Anyway, this was likely a mistake as on Dynasty Warriors 3 Extreme Legends, his model was changed to that of a regular NPC officer, the winged helmet style. This is one that everybody probably knows by now, but if you choose Guan Yu and play Fan Castle on the Wu Forces side, there's an easter egg made by the game's developers where Guan Yu questions how he is going to fight himself. We must fight Guan Yu! I am my own opponent? <laughs> this will be difficult. There are certain battles on the game where you can only play as one of the sides that participate in the battle. For example, Runan on Extreme Legends, where the Yellow Turbans once again face off against the Han forces. Usually, you can only fight on the Yellow Turban side, but using cheat codes it is actually possible to switch sides and fight for the Han forces side instead. There exist two levels on the game, Pirate Attack on the High Seas and the Mountain Bandit campaign which only appear on certain characters' Muso modes. I should mention that there are alternate versions of both of these levels on Dynasty Warriors 3 Extreme Legends, with different forces involved too. However, as the originals only appear in certain characters' Muso modes, we can't usually play these levels with any character. If we use cheat codes to modify which character we can play as, then we can discover that there were lines of dialogue recorded for all the playable characters, most of which we never usually get to hear. Hmm, this is the place. Please help us! Bandits are destroying our village! Don't worry, I will return in a short time. No forgiveness for those who torment innocent people! 
So I see you're still here. Stay there, and I'll soon send you on a different journey. It looks like the wind itself bows before the might of Lubu. What you get for getting in Lubu's way, you scum! There is an NPC officer in the game's files called Catapult Chief. He was cut from the game and never normally appears on any battles. He has yellow or gold armor, so he could have perhaps been part of Yuan Shao's forces. I killed an officer! When you finish Musou mode with any character, you get an ending movie. Each character's ending is slightly different to any other. There are two segments in particular which I think are the most unique. In Wei Yan's ending, he actually removes his mask, though the camera pans downwards and we still can't see his face. But best of all, there's a battle for the meat bun that's part of Shu Ju's ending. There are some NPCs who never appear in any battles, but exist in the game's code. Essentially, they are null values. This one has Zhao Yun's on-screen name, runs extremely slowly and jumps about half an inch off the ground. They're still capable of defeating troops and officers though, which I'm sure is helped out by the items I have equipped. To unlock most characters, you have to complete Musou mode with other playable characters. There are a couple of characters which are a lot harder to unlock though. For example, to unlock Sun Quan, you have to carry out a specific set of events on the battle at Hefei, on the Wu forces side. First, you have to let Tai Shi Tse die from an arrow attack launched by Zhang Liao. Wait! Ah, he's hurt. There's no need to pursue. I still have so far to go. Which causes Sun Quan to retreat. Then you have to wait with Sun Quan to trigger a cutscene where you jump across a broken bridge. Is this the end? Lord? Jump! It's Zheng Liao! Zheng Liao is here! Zhang Liao will then disappear from the centre of the battlefield and reappear at the Wu main camp. Defeat Zheng Liao and then launch a counter-attack together with Sun Quan to defeat Cao Cao to finish the battle. Hit them with everything we've got! The front line is up to you! Yes! Bring me the traitor Cao Cao's head! and then you have finally unlocked Sun Quan. On Dynasty Warriors 3 Extreme Legends, you can unlock two characters' costumes from Dynasty Tactics. The first is for Lu Bu, which is awarded to the player if you can beat what is casually known as the Chu Bi Special Stage. Set the difficulty to very hard, choose Dong Zhuo's forces side at Chu Bi, and pick anyone except Lu Bu. If you can complete the battle, you'll be awarded with Lu Bu's third costume his outfit from Dynasty Tactics. Also during the battle, Lu Bu's troops and officers all wear silver, a colour not seen anywhere else except on your bodyguards, which is another reward for completing the battle. The colour scheme is actually referred to as white, but it looks more like silver in battle. Shen Shang Zhang's Dynasty Tactics outfit is also unlockable, which is the reward for 100% completion. 
During most cutscenes, Meng Huo is seen without his weapons. Instead, he wears metal gauntlets which go underneath his weapons usually. Using cheat codes, you can actually equip no weapon, and therefore use these under gauntlets to attack your enemies. However, they're pretty much as useless as you'd expect them to be. A little known fact about Dynasty Warriors 3 is that you can move while shooting arrows. On the PS2 version of the game, you can hold R1 to start firing arrows. If you use the D-pad to move around, it just moves the target of where you're aiming your arrows. But by holding L1 while you're already holding R1, you can now move about while still being able to fire arrows. Handy if you're under attack. If you press up and down on the D-pad in quick succession, you can make your character spin around on the spot. Keep a close eye on your character, and if you can press up and down quick enough, you might spot your character's upper body moving the opposite way around to your character's lower body. When a battle is loading, the battle's name is on the screen shown as text. If you start pressing one of the buttons as fast as you can, the speed of the wind moving through the text will increase. Alternatively, if you hold one of the buttons on your controller down, then it'll have the opposite effect and the speed of the wind will slow down almost to a standstill instead. The opening edit is a customizable cinematic, in which you can place any characters of your choosing. Or you can watch a pre-made version for each main force, as well as the option to randomise all the characters in the video as well. If you opt to create your own version and you place Shuju in the scene where your force is riding elephants, Shuju will not appear on the elephant, but instead he will run along the ground and swing his club. Some generals' names are spelled incorrectly and would go on to be changed in later games in the series. For example, Dong Tu Na is spelt Dong Tu Nei. Sha Mok is spelled as all one word rather than two. Yan Bai Hu's name is split into three parts rather than two. And Yu Fu is spelt Neo Fu. Also, I love how Zhang Man Cheng's name is so long that they had to spell it without spaces in between it to make it all fit on the screen. Some names and places are pronounced wrong, some probably more famous than others. Have a listen to these. You must remember this, Cow Cow. I shall oppose you forever. And don't forget it! So this is Lu Feng Po, huh? What a strange place. Jia Hao Wan, Kao Ren, station yourselves in front of the Tan Gate. Zhu Huan, send a detachment to cross to the south. Due to a smaller roster of playable characters than we have now, some playable generals appear at battles that take place years after their real life death. For example, Pang Tong appears at Wujang Plains, which takes place in 234 AD, while Pang Tong died in 214 AD. Dian Wei is present for the Wei forces despite dying in 197 AD, and so is Xu Ju and Cao Ren, who died in 230 AD and 223 AD. Characters in the game can perform mid-air attacks, which is done by pressing the square button after jumping. Jiang Wei is special in that he can perform a double mid-air attack by pressing the square button twice. To my knowledge, he's the only character on the game who has a double air attack. Some characters have more than one idle animation, which is what the character does by default if you're not pressing any buttons. Lu Meng is a good example, as you can see he has two different idle animations. One where he lifts his weapon up and down, and one where he pivots on the spot. On the Battle of Chubi, if you head to the south close to where the Wu Commander is stood, whether it's Sun Quan or Sun Jian, you can see the famous red letters written on the cliffs. These engravings still exist in real life at the battle's location, and are said to be at least a thousand years old. On the battle at Hulao Gate, there is a rare event where Diao Chan defects from Dong Zhuo's forces. 
To get it to happen, you need to play on Dong Zhuo's forces side and allow all your officers to be defeated, except for Dong Zhuo, Lu Bu and Diao Chan. She will then defect and you can defeat her to get a defense plus 8. An officer. There is a secret ending that you can trigger from the opening edit screen. Simply highlight the play button, then hold R1, R2, L1 and L2 and press X on play. You'll now be watching the secret ending, which is essentially a Musou mode style ending made up of all the other forces characters. Some weapons on Dynasty Warriors 3 Extreme Legends can actually change the appearance of some characters' moves. For example, Zhang Jiao usually shoots fire from his staff. However, if you equip his fifth weapon, the Thunder Staff, you'll now shoot electric elemental attacks rather than fire. Similarly, Gan Ming's sixth charge attack sees him shooting two of, well, whatever these things are. If you equip his fifth weapon, the Seven Seas Blade, You'll now have the same attack imbued with the wind element, taking on a completely different look. There is a rare glitch where some NPCs can adopt the now famous T pose. This is the default posture for character models when no positioning or movement is specified. I'm not sure why it happens, but it's a pretty rare glitch to come across, and it seems as though it can happen to officers and troops alike. Even officers on horseback. Moves on airborne enemies can take on different effects to the same moves versus standing enemies. Lu Meng's second charge attack hits enemies further away when airborne, but easily the best use of this effect, in my opinion, is Lu Bo's third charge attack. Against standing opponents, it stuns them, while against airborne enemies, it sends them flying. There is a cutscene on the surprise attack against Liu Biao level, where your character sees a flag break. The default character for this cutscene is Sun Tzu. There's actually a lot more going on in this cutscene than the game lets on. There's an old adage that states, if a banner breaks in a strong wind, then the enemy is planning an ambush. Therefore, this cutscene correctly predicts that Sun Jian will be ambushed and killed in attack from Kuai Liang. On rare occasions, NPC officers can get stuck behind gates. Oh, and if you didn't know, gates are the points on the battlefield where more troops spawn and enter the battle, and the player isn't allowed to access these portions of the level. NPCs can run off into the scenery or just stand still, like this instance here with Sima Yi, where the only way I could defeat him and finish the level was to shoot him with arrows. I was running out of time as well, it's, it's like he knew. have done all that I could. When you kill an officer, they'll drop an item that boosts your stats, either an attack upgrade or a defense upgrade. If you perform at least a six hit combo on a general when you defeat them, the item you're rewarded with is doubled. From a plus one to a plus two, 
a plus two to a plus four, or a plus four to a plus eight. If the officer you defeat drops a plus eight by default, then you can't upgrade this with a six hit combo. There are certain cutscenes on the game that can only be triggered with certain officers. For example, Genji vs Sun Shang Xiang on Yo Ting. Huh. Sorry. You did it! And Zhang Liao vs Lu Bo at Hulao Gate. Zhang Liao! You of all people would betray me? Such is the fate of one who lives in these times. You are no exception, Lord Lubu! Dynasty Warriors 3 was the first game in the series to have six normal attacks and six charge attacks per character. On Dynasty Warriors 2, each character only had four normal attacks and four charge attacks, which led to quite repetitive battles. Some officers can extend their attacks by pressing square or triangle more times. This is most common with the sixth charge attack, where pressing triangle adds more hits onto the end of the move and allows you to create bigger combos. Between Dynasty Warriors 3 and Dynasty Warriors 3 Extreme Legends, a lot of the cutscenes on various levels were reused with different characters and different dialogue for use in the other forces characters Muso mode. Out of my way. Forgive me. I must repay my debts. Who are you? Is that it? Fushi and Nu Wa made their debuts on Dynasty Warriors 3, before going on to appear prominently in the Warriors Orochi spin off series, with completely different looks. They are rewarded to the player on the original Dynasty Warriors 3 for completing Muso mode with every character, both male and female, in Wu, Wei and Shu. All the items on the game have different limits. For example, the Peacock Urn and the Dragon Amulet both max out at 60. On Dynasty Warriors 3 Extreme Legends, it's possible to unlock limit break items. Most people attempt this on Yo Ting, Wu Force's side, as a lot of the way officers drop items when defeated, and there are several item boxes on the level as well, and also the level is quite short, having a maximum time limit of half an hour. Most people pick Zhou Yu, as he's one of the easiest characters to rack up combos with. Lastly, you'll want to equip the 7 stars blade for additional time to complete combos, and the 7 stars orb for added luck, which I believe means you're likely to get better items and weapons after a battle. To get limit break items, you have to rack up around 1,200 combo points, and then collect as many items as you can. Combo points are attained by performing multiple different moves in quick succession. A perfect combo is worth 100 points. In my attempts for this video, I got a plus 48 tortoise amulet, limit is 40, a plus 67 peacock urn, limit is 60, a plus 24 seven stars orb, limit is 20, a plus 41 cavalry armor, limit is 40, a plus 25 elixir, limit is 20, a plus 13 bronze flask, max is 12, a plus 17 speed scroll, max is 16, a plus 66 peacock urn, a plus 75 dragon amulet, limit is 60, and a plus 24 elixir. Shaho Duin wears his eye patch in every single battle on Dynasty Warriors 3, even in battles that took place earlier than when he lost his eye in real life. Something which happened during a battle against Lubo in the late 190s. Here on the Yellow Turban Rebellion in 184 AD, he already has his eye patch. In later games in the Warriors series, Shaho Duin has two separate versions of each costume, 
one with and without his signature eye patch. Some officers' alternate costumes have been sympathetically designed to reflect the fact that they served under one or more kingdoms. Zhang Liao usually wears the blue of Wei, but his alternate costume represents the purple of Dong Zhuo's forces. Zhang Wei wears the green of Shu, but his alternate costume is blue, perhaps to signify his defection from Wei to Shu, which was played out in later games in the series. You also have Sun Shang Zhang, who usually wears the red of Wu, but her alternate costume is green, a reference to the fact that she was married to Liu Bei for a time before returning to Wu. Some fourth and fifth weapons have the death element, but you can only inflict instant death on troops. When you use the death element against an officer, the damage you deal will be proportionate to the officer's health. So when they're at full health, your death elemental attacks will do more damage than when they're on next to no health. And ironically, the death element cannot KO an enemy officer. Other than the enemy commander, there are some officers which are a lot harder to KO. This is something that would appear in later Dynasty Warriors games as well, but from Dynasty Warriors 4 onwards, these types of officers would be imbued with chi energy. Back here on Dynasty Warriors 3, their appearance was no different to any other officer, despite the fact that they're a lot harder to defeat. During the event that we explored earlier, where Diao Chan defects at the Battle of Hulao Gate, there's a line of Lu Bo's dialogue that's really strange. The on-screen dialogue has Lu Bo saying, Diao Chan, why have you forsaken me? However, the dialogue that's spoken is Diao Chan's army has defected. And what's even weirder is that it's spoken in a troop's voice, not Lu Bo's voice. This is as far as I'm supposed to go. Diao Chan's army has defected. As we know, all the characters have an alternate costume on Dynasty Warriors 3 Extreme Legends. If you choose to play as a character in their alternate costume, and that same character also appears on the battle for the opposite side, they will also appear in their alternate costume as well. So we saw the silver NPCs on the Trivi special stage earlier, but there are also a couple of colour schemes that are unique to your bodyguards. Black and Peach. Using cheat codes, you can actually play as troops and officers in both Black and Peach. I killed an officer! But as they're NPCs, of course, this isn't usually something that's available to players. Using cheat codes, it's possible to give your character any weapon of choice. But what's funny about it is that your character will now inherit the elemental attack of the weapon. For example, you can choose weapons with the death element to give any character this ability. Usually, only a select few characters' weapons have the death element. In some rare footage of a pre-release version of Dynasty Warriors 3, we can see that one of Genji's charge moves was changed. In this footage, you can see that her third charge attack has her playing her flute and stunning the enemies. Also, her flute plays a different tune to how it sounds in the final game. When the game was released, her third charge attack was changed to a kick rather than a burst of flute energy. Instead, this original move was changed to her sixth charge attack instead. Also, did you notice that the troops in this old footage were the same models as on Dynasty Warriors 2? On Dynasty Warriors 3, there was an NPC called Genji at the Battle of Hefei Castle. This was the only battle he appeared on in Dynasty Warriors 3. But in real life, there was no Wu officer by the name of Genji. This NPC was actually supposed to be Jiang Cheng but somehow they messed up his name and he shared a playable character's name. In Dynasty Warriors 3 Extreme Legends, his name was updated to what it should have been in the first place, Zhang Cheng. On the Yellow Turban Rebellion, as the Han forces ascend the mountain to where Zhang Bao is located, he will start rolling boulders down the slope at you with his magic, featuring one of the series' most famous cutscenes. 
When you get to the top, you'll trigger a cutscene where your character breaks one of the boulders to signal the end of the boulder attack. If you focus your attention elsewhere on the battlefield, Zhang Bao will eventually make his way down the mountain and will eventually be defeated by the Shu unit of Liu Bei, Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. If this happens, the cutscene where you break the boulder will never happen. So you can venture up the mountain and close to where Zhang Bao was stationed, you can see that exact boulder on the battlefield. It even seems to have some Chinese or Japanese symbols on it. I wonder what they say. If you do a large combo on a troop that wouldn't otherwise drop an item upon being KO'd, I think it's a 20 hit combo, then they will drop 5 arrows for you to pick up. Not too much use, but still a nice addition. This also works on enemy commanders too, who usually don't drop an item as the battle ends when you defeat them. On Dynasty Warriors 3 Extreme Legends, there is a custom growth option available for improving your bodyguard stats manually with the points they earn after each battle. This means that you can place more emphasis on certain stats. Most guides that help you achieve the most favourable bodyguard growth often start with defence first, before moving on to attack, HP, Musou and rank. Well, they were 50 things you might not have known or remembered about Dynasty Warriors 3. I hope you enjoyed it, thanks for watching and see you for the next one. You truly believe you can defeat me? Alone? Hmm. This time I will show no mercy.